This game will get a lot of eyes and a lot of viewers. The 8-3 Miami Dolphins travel to the 49ers, and the 49ers are a four-point favorite, and they're 7-4 and four on the season. The reason why is their offensive coordinator and about two or three players from Miami are from San Francisco, so they're getting a chance to go back home and play. And here's the problem. Teron Armstrong, the left tackle for the Miami Dolphins, he was out last week. They threw the ball 11 times when he got injured, Coach. Two got sacked four times in 11, 11 passes. So they better shore up that left side on the offensive line. Two is having a heck of a season. He's got 19 touchdowns, three interceptions. When he is healthy, he is the thing. Coach, he gets rid of that ball with so much accuracy, completing 70% of his passes. Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill are having terrific seasons under him. Their defense isn't as bad as people think. They're 17th in total defense, so they're getting some things done there. On the other side of the ball, Jimmy G is the guy. He's going to be a free agent after this year. He's having a heck of a season. He controls this offense for this team, but they've got some weapons, Coach. They've got Christian McCaffrey. You know about him. Debo Samuels, George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk. they got a lot of weapons on offense. They've got no excuse, so this should be a high-scoring, high-flying, and fun affair to watch. This will be a fun game because you mentioned both sides have tremendous offensive weapons. The 49er defense is definitely better. They've given up 15 points a game where the Miami Dolphins have given up 23 a ball game. Now, the Dolphins have won five in a row. They lost three games in a row when two was injured. As long as two is playing, they're basically undefeated. And how can you talk about the great receiver? in Tyreek Hill. Uh, you know, he just is an outstanding individual who really makes big plays and causes the defense to have to adjust a lot of different things. I could go on and on, but let me get to the 49ers. Garoppolo is the most unappreciated quarterback in the entire country. They're always trying to get rid of him, and he does nothing but get you into the Super Bowl, and he's got a chance to do it this year. And I think the addition of Christian McCaffrey is a great asset for him. He, he can run. But he also is a real threat coming out of the backfield. He's made a big difference in them. So I, I look at it, uh, the defense, just not good enough. I think Miami 27, the 49ers 24. I know that's an upset, but I'm going because Tua is undefeated. You give him enough time, and he will find the open receiver. I like the other side. I like the 49ers in this game, given the four at home. I think they're hitting on all cylinders. They're finally getting it together, and they're doing it at the right time. Both these teams are hot. I think it's got to be a high-scoring game. 49ers are giving four in this game. I got the 49ers winning this game 40-34. to 34. 